Hey guys, new battery day. I've been pretty much excited about this battery coming in because it has some really great features for the money. Let's open it up. All right guys, check it out. This is the Talent Cell 12.8 volt, 170 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Not the regular 100 that we're used to seeing in this size of a battery shell, but a 170 amp hours. Now on top of that, it's got Bluetooth. And it's supposed to have a, um, a JBD Bluetooth Smart BMS. So let's see what we got here on the specs. It says uh, life cycle. We've got life cycle uh, 3000 cycles with 100% depth of discharge. 5,000 with 80% depth of discharge, or 8,000 with 50%. Uh, nominal voltage is 12.8. Nominal capacity is 170 amp hours. Uh, it says at 0.2C. So we're gonna test that to make sure that uh, is, uh, is correct. The energy is 2,176 watt hours, guys. Uh, max charging voltage is 14 to 14.6 volts. Uh, max charging current is 100 amps. Max discharging current is 200 amps. Charge temperature is uh, zero to 45 C. Discharge temperature is negative 20 to 60 C. It's got an IP55 water and dust resistance. And uh, the weight is 15.8 kilograms, or I think that would be roughly 30, five pounds fantastic you know basically has the same style case that we're used to uh, the nylon strap handle uh, it definitely is heavier so there's more battery uh, clear, uh, clearly inside this case a lot of times when we open these cases up when we do a tear down there is uh, a, not so much battery uh, so like it's a uh, a lot of space in these with some that's usually taken up with some foam or whatever uh, but i think this one's probably going to take up most of the case on the inside the real exciting part of this battery is the price so if we look here on amazon uh, it is 549.99 with the with the bluetooth and as you can see there's the familiar jbd bms shizang uh, BMS app. Now they have the non-smart version, which is uh, 509. So just 40 more dollars and you get the smart BMS. That's just a no-brainer. So let's see if we can um, connect to it. Uh, I don't recognize this Yabo. So that's probably it. Look at that. I believe that's it. Uh, looks like it's charged to about 50% according to the BMS app. You see it there, 50%. has 84.97 amp hours in it. Fantastic. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to charge this battery up. We're going to use the Ardroit uh, 50 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. Fantastic charger. Does get a little bit warm, but uh, it really charge. It's a charging beast. We're gonna plug that guy in. There we go. We sh there we go. Look, we got 49.3 amps going into this battery. Well, guys, if this guy, if this battery turns out to pass everything meaning it pulls full capacity. There's no quirks or anything like that. It should have uh, cold temperature protection. You know, if this battery checks out, this is one heck of a deal. This is 170 amp hours with the smart BMS option for, you know, $549. Anyways, I'm gonna let this charge up and then uh, we'll come back and do a capacity test on it. All right, guys, uh, the battery is fully charged. One thing I noticed that when the battery uh, initially fully charged, cell number two was a little 
uh, lower than the rest of them. So what I did was, and this is the nice thing about having a smart BMS, is that you can change some parameters here. I went in and I changed the, the balanced turn on voltage here. Uh, it was set to 3.5 and I changed it to 3.4. And then I went in and changed the charge balance. I turn that off. And so what that does is if charge balance is on, that's how it comes default on all these JBD BMSs. It will only balance when it's charging, which is usually what you want. But if you've got a little bit of an imbalance, if you turn that off, then it'll balance all the time as long as the cells are at that balance threshold voltage. So I changed it from 3.5 to 3.4. So it would set all night long and just balance the higher cells down closer to uh, that lower cell. Now they're very balanced. Uh, voltage difference is uh, 0 0.013. Uh, so we're gonna start to charge one more time to see what voltage it charges up to. And uh, here we go. So we're at 14, 14, 1, 14, 2. Everything's still nice and balanced. 14, 4. 14, 5. So we got the 14, 5. So perfect, um, that's really good. I mean, honestly, perfect would be 14.6, but 14.5 was plenty, plenty good. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna set it up and we're gonna do a discharge test. All right, guys, so we are set up to do a discharge capacity test. I have my shunt set up back behind the battery. We got the Leesky inverter and our heater as the load. So we're gonna turn the inverter on. And now we are drawing 61.8 amps, which is about a 0.3C test on this 170 amp hour battery. So we're gonna let it run like that and I'll come back when the test is complete. guys we are currently at 1% we've pulled 169.2428 amp hours 2152 watt hours uh, we're at 11.6 volts currently and uh, we're like a half an amp away from pulling full capacity here we go guys there it is 170 amp hours so we have reached full capacity with the talent cell 170 amp hour battery with Bluetooth. How about that? Still got just a little bit to go on the, the watt hours. Uh, we should be seeing, we should hit uh, 2,176. We're to, at uh, 2,173, so just a few more to go. Yeah, so we've hit 2,177 watt hours so far, so that's completely where it should be. And we're still going. And we're at 11.1 .1 volts. Let's see how far it'll go. Ooh. 
That terminal's very hot. So I'm actually concerned with how hot this terminal is. And uh, we're only pulling 71 amps. Okay, the inverter is streaming, so let's turn that off. Um, we have reached 174.22 amp hours, uh, 2,206 watt hours. Uh, so, pulls uh, full capacity, very nice. This terminal is very hot. Like a, seeing 150. Anyways, like I said, this thing has pulled full capacity, so that's really great. Uh, let's take a look at what the BMS is showing. Yeah, so the BMS shows uh, you know, zero amp hours remaining. Um, the cells are 2.6, 2.6, 2.8, 6, 2.7, so not too far off. Uh, it says 31.8 on the temperatures. I think what I'll do is I'm going to charge this back up. Yeah, I'm going to use a different cable here and pull a load and see if, if it's still heating up. Because it could be this cable. I, I have had a problem with this cable getting pretty warm. Alright guys. So I made up some new cables. These are two gauge, pure copper. And uh, so this was the this was the one that was I was using, and it's the one that came with the inverter. I'm pretty certain this is actually just aluminum wire. It's super lightweight. So I charged the battery back up to about 76 percent, and so we're gonna run it. I'm gonna let it run for a while and see if this terminal heats back up with this new proper wire. So we're drawing uh, 64 amps. And I'm just gonna let that run for, I don't know, maybe an hour and see if this, if we're still having heating problems. All right guys, so this has been running for, I don't know, about an hour, possibly longer. I didn't really keep track. But uh, yeah, this is fine. The new cable, solve that issue this is cool like we're hitting 72 degrees uh, 75 so nowhere near the 150 that we were getting earlier uh, just this junk cable right here uh, so whenever you guys get an inverter don't use the cables that it, the inverter come with these are dangerous so there we go trash for that uh, this battery from talent cell 170 amp hour with the bluetooth bms uh, shizang or jbd bms great value 550 dollars very high capacity battery very small size yeah so this comes in at the the same standard size as uh, most of the 100 amp hours that we see, but at 170 amp hours. So I'm very impressed with this battery. The only thing that I don't know is, can it be wired in series? I'm going to ask Talent Cell. I'm going to send them an email and ask them if it's capable of running in series. The other thing is, I don't know. I don't know about the warranty on this battery so those are two things that I don't really know there was no manual in the box it just literally comes with the battery and I think there was some terminals uh, in there that was pretty much it but yeah I'm impressed with this thing and uh, appears to be pretty good value but if you guys want to look up this battery or get one for yourself I'll put links in the description I'll put any uh, extra information that I can gather about this battery it is available on amazon so it's easy to get and i think that's going to be it for this video please like and subscribe that really helps the channel out a whole lot and i'll catch you guys on the next one